are here. Oh, new house. Who that? <laughs> okay. Still smells like paint. I'm happy they did the touch up on the on the paint job. It just wasn't good before. Lovely. So the movers just left and yeah, <laughs> now like reality begins. The reality of being here is beginning to set in because we can't even, as much as we want to take our time to like unpack and stuff, we can't afford to not do anything today because like how would we sleep? So yeah, this is how things are offloaded. They sort of put the boxes where each thing belonged. So this is all of the kitchen stuff. Whew. I can't wait, honestly, I can't wait for this kitchen to be like in its ideal state. Hello, if I haven't already said it, hello. Um, so yeah, this is first few minutes in the new house and in the new city. Um, I think it's just dawning on me that like I just literally made a shift from one way of life to what's going to be another and there's so much to anticipate here yeah this is just first impressions i'm feeling good um i'm glad that we made it here safe over the next few days i'll be trying to fix up the house um trying to arrange our things trying to basically just make the house more livable and so that we can also start like using the kitchen and using doing life normally i just thought to pop in show my face as yeah show my face here essentially so I'll talk to you in the next clip or whatever this video i don't even know whether this is going up or this is part of a video but i'm assuming it is so i'll talk to you in the next clip see ya hi y'all so um it is like 11 30 uh still sunday i've been trying to um get a head start on arranging the house so like it obviously like i couldn't even do a lot of things sorry i'm looking that way i'm using my window as a mirror because i'm using my black my back camera but anyway yeah um i got a head start with the kitchen so what i did was i i'll insert a clip here by the way i labeled my shelves because i find that if i start um arranging things just like out of the blue yes hi i'm back <laughs> so yeah i was saying that um I got a head start on sorting out the kitchen in the sense that I started putting labels on the shelves because I figured if I just start arranging things like randomly, oh this looks like a good place for this thing, so let me put it there, then I might end up um, realizing that some things have been wrongly placed after a while and that would make me have to like undo what I've already done and start again. So what I did was I went through like the inventory of all the things I already have because the cartons are labeled if you're ever moving please label your cartons so yeah the cartons are labeled so i sort of went through um things i have things i know i'll normally have to arrange in my kitchen and um i put them I, I put um stickers on each shelf for what each um shelf will contain essentially so like there's a sticker on a drawer that has cutlery on it there's another one that has spices there's one for plates and glasses, there's one for things for cereal or things like foil and basically all the things you'd find in the kitchen. So yeah, all the stuff is labeled and um, that just helps with like organization. Yeah, I'm going to go take a shower after which I will sleep. <laughs> I will okay, I'll take a shower, then I need to make a list of the things I need to buy tomorrow because we need to do some grocery shopping tomorrow. I think I'm rambling at this point. It's time to go. I will see you guys tomorrow. Sit tight. Guys, so I know I already said bye bye, but I just wanted to show you my face. Like, see, 
Okay, I know that some of these are skin tags, which I'm considering getting laser for, but I am breaking out like this. This one, there's this one. Look at these. Um, yeah, look at that one. Like, I'm breaking out horribly from this dress. To think that, like, four days ago, my skin was actually, like, so good. So good. Like, I was, I was tripping for the skin I had four days ago. Now, look at this take a look but yeah um if there's one thing i need to settle into really fast is back into my skincare routine uh because this is your why this is your because anyway i came to just tell you that bye bye good night again <laughs> good morning <laughs> so yeah um it's monday morning the weather's 14 degrees and uh, yes, officially uh, like our first day out here. So like I said last night, we need to do groceries and go to the spa. Oh, it's windy. But yeah, um, I'll have to check. another stop i wanted to get flip flops because my old ones are gone so i got these pair and we got what did we get i got spinach and some um stuff like wires and stuff that we need this is what the situation looks like so i need someone to tell me who's going to be cooking here <laughs> because i don't know I don't know the person anyway um I think all I want to do now is rest and then I will figure out what else needs to be done or what else makes sense to do today. But other than that, please, I want to rest. Hi everyone, guess who just recorded this entire video and realized she never pressed record? Anyway, let me not be bitter. So, um, I just made myself some dinner. Let me show you. This is one pack of noodles and egg and this is half of the chicken salad I bought in the afternoon because I realized I've been eating so much fast food lately that I haven't really had much fiber so this would have to do for now because I can't begin to cook anything that requires like a lot of time and cutting and all that. This is all we're cooking in this house for now until further notice. Um, yeah, I, I did a few things today. I bought this plastic container because in my old house i used to put all these things gary poundo and things just in the shelf as they are but i didn't like that it doesn't look very neat so i bought this to keep everything in um what else did i do today i i, I arranged this place a little more so the noodles have gone in there's just a few other things that i put in there today um I also did my, I also did this. This is foil and wraps and freezer bags and whatnot. This situation here, I'm not loving, but I'll figure it out. Because these things cannot necessarily be very arranged by nature. So, yeah, I'll figure that out. This is my cereal cabinet. Um, got around to this today. I had to put the bran pack like that horizontally because it's too tall for the shelf so i have to figure that out as well but this is my cereal oats all that good stuff tea lots of tea like the tea goes all the way back 
I don't know how I've become a tea person like this. Um, tissues for the kitchen, for the bathrooms, and I feel like we're still going to move these tissues away from here. But for now, this is where they're going to be. Um, also, toiletries and air freshener and just those basic things. I'm going to eat. I'm really hungry. Um, I only have about two boxes left or three boxes left. So one has plastic containers, one has pots, and one has um, dishes. And that's all for like the things we came with and then there are a few other things to get arranged but i love the progress that we've been able to make so far so yeah this is me signing out for today i'm going to go eat now and try to rest a little because i had to be up again at one this is hallelujah challenge season so yeah if you know you know <laughs> anyway Anyway, um, I think I'll just say goodnight here. See you tomorrow. Hi guys, good morning. Um, so this is like, actually good afternoon. This is like almost 1 p.m. And I'm just trying to make some breakfast. So I'm making myself eggs. Uh, woke up this morning, got a few things done. You know, I actually, I actually planned to go straight to work after I woke up this morning, but i i got on a call actually and i couldn't work and do that at the same time so i just decided to fix a few extra things in the kitchen while i was on the call now i'm just trying to make eggs i have bread i have some spinach i will wilt just trying to make some breakfast uh so yeah this morning i took care of pots and electronics i will show you that in a second so i decided to use this corner piece corner shelf for that so pots uh these are just things i would use more often that's for eggs this is my kitchen skill other pots and then my blender my food processor is new i can't wait to try it out really excited for that because it's going to save me so much time in this kitchen but yeah um this is what it's looking like for now i'm very satisfied with this the other things the other like electronics in the kitchen are kettle toaster and um what's this thing called air fryer and they're going to stay here so this corner is going to be dedicated to those things and then obviously the microwave will still go up here what's why the reason why the microwave is still down is one because it needs to be cleaned look at all that dust and two, um, there is no way for us to to run the wire because the socket is down here. So they need to make sort of like a hole. So we just want to get a go ahead from the landlord to put a hole here so that we can um, so that we can, you know, run the plug down and then we'll have it cleaned and it will go down here. It will go up here. So yeah, um, that's what it's looking like for now. This place is still a mess, as you can see. But it's coming together like yesterday there were what, four boxes on the floor now there's just two this is plastics and for some reason i feel like i have way too many of these but they always come in handy anyway and they're going up there and this is plates mugs cups things like that they're going right beside as well So I just got back home from buying dinner. Um, let me show you what I bought. We went to Pedro's. We bought a chicken meal. Buns. I ate most of the chips in the way. What else is this for? Garlic roll. Um, what else? This is some kind of rice. 
Uh, yeah, so there's a full chicken in there. This is chips. I had half of these chips on the way home. See what's left. And yeah, just the chicken. So that's dinner, and it's going to last a while. Cause wait, are we supposed to have burgers? Oh, okay. So this is actually two chicken burgers, and then there's the chicken at the bottom. Alrighty, I'm going to eat. I'm starving. Bye. Hi. Good morning. Um. At this point, I'm probably living in a cap over my head and a sweater because I, I was not prepared for the weather in this place. Like, it's so cold. I I mean, we're in spring, right? So I thought that like, it would be rainy and stuff, but it's really cold. But thankfully, the sun came out to play today. It's, it's still quite cloudy though, but at least the sun is out. It's like 11.30 right now. I'm just about to make my breakfast. And this morning, there were some people in the house to do some work so i i was just like working along so i did like the dishes i arranged a few more cabinets i think i did the medicine cabinets i put away the extra um cutlery and china and whatever that we wouldn't be using i put them in a box i basically sorted out a few boxes so i had to wash some things so i cleaned out the microwave the kettle the toaster toasters are difficult to clean out guys if you have any tips for cleaning out a toaster let me show you this is my toaster right so i've done a good job cleaning it but there's still like some gunk inside it so if you have any tips for cleaning the toaster please let me know but um, i can make do with what i have now but i just would prefer if i could do better honestly at this point i'm just like living in a cycle of cleaning the house getting a little bit of work done cleaning the house again not necessarily cleaning the house is clean it's arranging uh yeah so there's there's some work going on outside so forgive the background noise that just came off Okay, so this is what we're looking like so far um i put my clothes on the hanger there and then on the rain layers i have bags down that is hair i want to get like a nice storage box something like this one but nicer for my hairs so that i can put them properly so this is a temporary situation uh i have jeans there and then i have like towels and thick sweaters and things like that over there so yeah it looks neat that's my underwear box but i think i might need to get a bigger one because see it's not even closing properly uh yeah so that's that side and then for this side i just have fabrics and things i don't usually use they go they went all the way up there because yeah i don't reach for those things often so they're just there uh dresses nightwear bottoms so like shorts skirts trousers whatever and then tops are here and then the bottom layer is still vacant hello 
all. So um, I am cooking dinner now. Um, after I finished with the bedroom, I had to go out quickly to get like a snack because I hadn't had lunch and your girl was hungry. So I bought stuff from Chicken Wiggin and just snacked. Um, Mila is currently playing soccer with his new colleagues. Like guys are so I don't know they they get friendly so easily because today was his third day at work and he's already out playing soccer with these guys. But well, as long as he's having a great time, I'm down for that. So uh, while I cook, I just wanted to quickly show you guys the kitchen, like the finished work for now because. In terms of everything we came here with, I'm done arranging the kitchen. Okay, so this is the sink area. Um, I have chicken in here because after I'm done with this video, I need to cook chicken. But essentially, what I tried to do here was put things that could live under the sink there. So my goal was, if anything ever happens to the sink and maybe it starts leaking, I want the things that will be here to be things that can't spoil, so things that the water is not going to destroy, maybe things I'll just have to wipe down. And so this is like my cleaning cabinet. Um, yeah, so just detergents, things to clean the bathroom, um, dishwashing liquid, sponges, things like that. Uh, and then at the bottom is just um, plastic bags, bin bags, and some other cleaning things. So that's what it looks like. Then I've got this side which has trays, oil, and then there's some food stuff down, so rice and other dry foods, but everything is like in a tight container so that there won't be any water damage. And besides, I don't think the sink can leak this way. I think it's only that other way that the sink can leak. So yeah, that's what that's what I did. So now for this side, the lower shelves, this one is the food stuff cabinet. Um, I have arranged it as good as I can for now. Um, I still have a few things coming for here. Obviously, like you never stop buying food stuff, so the more things come, um, the more I'm going to arrange this and make it look better. Uh, oven, all that should be. This are my drawers, so cutlery is here. Uh, spices. Then we have um, cooking spoons and cooking utensils. And then there's the medicine cabinet all the way down. And then pots and things went in here. So pots and uh, uh, electronics, that's what they're called. Jesus. Pots and electronics are in there. Then um, on the countertop on one side, I've got kettle toaster, air fryer. This basket has like, potatoes and onions and eggs. And then for the upper shelves, I've got plastics here. So all my plastic bowls for storage, essentially. This is um, china and glasses. Yeah, easily accessible. Then here I've got foil tissues and just some other things. I think I did say that I wanted to get a storage basket for this compartment because things here are rather rough. And this is my cereal cabinet and then there's this little one here that has toiletries and tissue. So that is our kitchen tour. I need to get back to the cooking now. See ya! Hello guys, um, today's Friday and I don't know, I think you can clearly see that I'm upset because this morning was just annoying. So I am supposed to currently be at the spa. I have a waxing appointment. I couldn't get the time to do it. Oops. I didn't get the time to do it on, on Monday when we were there. So I was booked for a um, session today. Now, my session was supposed to be at 1, right? My house is about 6 minutes away from the place. So when it was 12.30, I called... The taxi company now um in this city there there are no ubers and um, boats or whatever so i don't have that option but there are about two taxi companies that you can rely on and so i had used one of them yesterday and the service was really good the other one i was unable to reach them so i called the one i used yesterday at 12 30 
told them where I was going, give them my address. They said they were sending a ride my way. Um, between 12.30 and say 5 past 1, I gave them at least 7 calls and it was the same conversation over and over again. Uh, we're sending someone, they're almost there, or let me call the person and see what's going on, yada yada. The spa, on the other hand, because I know they're always like really, like they have a lot of bookings and everything, I... Of course, I, don't, I wouldn't want to waste my time. I get there late and only for them to tell me that um, because I'm late, I can't um, have my appointment anymore because maybe they're fully booked for the day. So I'm trying to call the spa and I've called them like 10 times. It keeps saying number busy, number busy. At this point, it's just ridiculous. Like I have, I'm calling them like a psycho essentially at this point. So yeah, those two things so when it's like 1 15 the taxi company then calls me back no i call them back actually and then the guy is saying yeah he doesn't know what happened and he's on his way now he'll come by himself i just tell him not to bother because if he gets here if he says he's gonna be on his way now then we're looking at him getting here at like 125 right so he gets here then we drive another 10 minutes or so to the spa we get there at 145 and then they tell me that because I'm what, 45 minutes late, I can't have my booking in anymore. Then I stay there and try to get another cab. God knows how long that's going to take. And then I come back to my house and I'm upset. Or even if I get to the spa at this point, with the level of anger in me, I don't think waxing is the best thing because now I'm just like pissed off. And if I go now, go and get waxed, it's probably going to be like twice as painful as it's supposed to be. So yeah that's a summary of how my morning has been i mean i moved here what on sunday this is the first time i'm trying to go out by myself and this is the experience it's not pretty i really hope this is like the first and last time this happens you guys so you know how my day was really rough at the beginning yeah so i asked my mom to pick up food for me because the only thing i seem to be able to do today is eat and i'm not even feeling guilty about it so yeah, I asked him to pick up food for me when he was coming back and then he had like a bunch of things in his hand when he entered the house. So he asked me to go get my food in the car because that was still in the car. So I went to fetch my food and I found this also waiting for me there. I'm so happy because I told him once about how I always want my vase to have flowers in it. <laughs> and he got me flowers.
I've decided to end this vlog here because I mean today's Saturday and this is Saturday night. It was supposed to be my first week in this house and we moved here on Sunday. So officially today's the end of the week. Um what did I get up to today? Uh in the morning we went to check out beds because we need to buy a new bed for our room. And so we went to check out beds at like a few bed stores. That's that's pretty much all we did outside. And we came back in, I made lunch, I made spaghetti. We ate and I've just been watching TV and trying to get some rest since then because tomorrow I have to go do like proper grocery shopping for like the month sort of so stuff that will probably last till like the end of the month and of course after I shop and I come back home I have to organize things I have to do meal prep for the week so tomorrow might be quite a busy day uh, yeah, so I just set up my workspace slash study area. Um, we've always had this table and this rug and this chair. This I just got from Shein. I think I showed you this on, on Thursday or Friday. Yeah, so this is there. And, and this is what I just got. So there are a few other books I have that's supposed to go in this rack. There are any carton in the room. I'm not ready to go down that path tonight. I'm tired. And I still have things to do. I also set this up here because I'm one of those people who like activity around when I'm working. So I usually have like something subtle playing on TV while I'm working here. So I can just flip, look back, and all that. And I'm even scared because our couch is coming, and the couch I feel like it's going to be so nice and cozy that I might end up doing most of my work on the couch. But let's see how it goes. Uh, anyway, I think. This is all I have to say today. I must mention that I'm very, very happy to be back on YouTube and I'm just easing my way back into this. So I can't promise a certain degree of um, consistency here, but of course I will try to be consistent. Um, I've also sort of discovered that I don't have to wait for special things to happen before I you know, can vlog. I can also vlog day to day. So um, I feel like I'm doing a lot of that. But if there are any specific things that you want me to film about, especially around um, setting up this house and um, just living in South Africa, living in a new city, um, things I like or don't like about the country or what I get up to, whatever it is really. If there's anything that you want me to talk about, please um, let me know in the, in the comments. I think I've asked quite a bunch of questions in this video as well. So if there's anything that you have an answer to or a recommendation for, pop it in the comments. Of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. If I get likes on this video, then I know that you guys are happy to see me back. If I don't get any likes on this video, hmm, and I think I'm just going to fold it off. Uh, just kidding, anyway. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Like, if you watch up to this point, then you are a real G. So, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.